Hi, this is Dr. Don Wright, and I'm going to show you how to quickly build a histogram from raw data using Excel 2016 on a PC. You should be able to replicate this process with other versions of Excel and on a Mac. I've done a bit of lead work here to save some time. Here's the data in a matrix of 200 cells. We need to use Excel functions to gather some statistics that we will need. First, let's get the minimum value using the min function. Equal, start typing min, double click it, and we need our array of numbers there. I'm going to select that and put on a closing parentheses and hit enter. That gets my min value. I'm going to do a similar thing for max. Select that same array. Hit enter. There's our min and max. Our range is equal to the max minus the min. I'm going to use 10 bins. And so my bin width is equal to the range divided by the number of bins which is 0.114. Now I want to round the bin width to get rid of any trailing z or decimals. So I'm going to hit round, select round, pick my value, and I'm going to leave it at three decimals and hit enter. I'm going to highlight that cell just to make sure that I don't pick the wrong one accidentally. All you need to construct the histogram besides your data are the upper bin limits. You may want to find the lower limits and the midpoint as well, depending upon what you want to show on your histogram. But here I'm just trying to show you the basic. The first upper limit is equal to the minimum value plus that bin width. The second upper limit is equal to that limit plus the bin width, and now I'm going to lock that in using the F4 key and hit enter. Now I can drag it down to get the upper limits on the remaining. Now we want to get our counts or our frequencies, and we're going to do that using the Excel frequency function. We select the cell adjacent to, to the right of the first upper limit, drag down so that we've got all the cells upper limits, and then we go one more just in case we have some data that's an outlier or something. Now we want to start typing F R E and frequency jumps up. We need our data array, which is over here. I'm going to select that, enter a comma. My bins array is that column. Now here, because it's an array function, we have to hit multiple keys. We cannot just hit enter. So we're going to hold down the control key, hold down the shift key, and hit enter. And we have our frequencies. And you can see that we, we do have one outlier there. So it's, it's good that I put that catch-all basin. And the reason for that, even though you, you won't see it in here, but the the max value is 5.870000. The reason it falls beyond that nominal 5.8700 upper limit that in Excel, the upper limits are really part of the next bin. So 5.87000 really is in this 11th bin, just so you'll understand that. But those are the frequencies. Now we're going to create the histogram itself. I'm going to select that first range and hold the control key down. I'm showing you this in case your upper limits are not adjacent to your frequencies. And then select that range. They have to be the same number of cells. I'm going to go to Insert, Recommended Charts. And it comes up what it calls a clustered column chart. And I'm going to say that's OK. Select that. And now I've got my basic histogram there. But it's not a true histogram because we've got these spaces. 
and the way we correct that is just to click on one of the columns right click format data series and we get this additional option showing up we're going to reduce the gap width to zero and one other thing I want to do is to click on the paint bucket the border and I want the border to be black so it shows up some contrasting color to whatever the fill is that you want and so there is the basic histogram and you need to pretty it up based on what your instructor wants you to show um, but this is will get you started and I hope this helps